Hello my passionate love, so my name is Amy from Miss Passion Diary and welcome upon this YouTube channel. Alright, so it's in the middle of the night here you guys. It's quarter to one in the midnight uh, or in the morning perhaps. So um, today as you all probably can read by the title as well as the thumbnail of this video, I finally created my very first Halloween makeup look for the year 2020. It's October so it means it's Halloween. <laughs> so yeah, um, I came up with this makeup look. This is inspired by the beautiful, gorgeous Illumin Arty. Uh, she's a makeup artist, um, beauty influencer on Instagram and I found this picture. This is actually one of the makeup that she rocked on the palette that she created with um, Makeup Obsession. And yeah, so I saw this makeup look and I completely fell in love and I thought I'm gonna give it a shot. I know it's not as perfect as what she created but I'm pretty much happy that you know I did, I did something cool and different on Halloween and challenged myself to create a makeup look like this is definitely right, right up my street. I love colorful makeup look and this side is you know very cool tone makeup. So for this makeup look um as you can see there is a gray tone face paint that I used. I got uh, I bought this one two weeks ago or yeah two weeks ago. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the SFX um, face paint that I got for I think six years or seven years. It's either one of the two. It's very inexpensive so I thought that this were gonna come someday for any makeup look for having that in my head and this is actually the first one. I'm thinking to create two Halloween makeup look for this year. Uh, only two because this makeup look seriously took me three and a half hours to create. So for the eyeshadows, I only use the uh, Beauty Bay Bright Matte 42 color palette. This You've seen this one um, before my channel. I already featured this product and reviewed as well. So I use this one because I want to stick on matte eyeshadows while there's glitter liners on my lid. Um, but other than that, uh, this is the only part that I use. So yeah, before we get started with the makeup tutorial, if you don't know me, my name is Amy. I have a huge passion and heart for makeup or any beauty related stuff and skincare. So I am a self-taught makeup artist. I learn things my own way. So for my new subscribers and my returning subscribers, hello there you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in on today's video. I'm so sorry, I tried to do this intro as quick as I can because I'm really tired to stay here. So I'm gonna stop rambling right now and we're gonna move on to the makeup tutorial. Alright, so for eyeshadow base, I'll be taking my Makeup Revolution um, Ultimate Eye Base. Alright, so the first two shades that I'm gonna use is these two bright pink colors here. This is the shade um, Make Them Wink and Dragon Fruit. So the next shade that I'll be using is this shade Heat Wave, this bright orange right here. The next shade that I'll be taking is the shade um, Hello Sunshine, which is the yellow color. The bright pink color. We're going to play that a little bit. And I'm going to take the shade Sweet Tooth all the way here. out that orange shade in the middle part using the shade Tangerine Dream. This one right here. So blending out that yellow shade in our inner corners, I'll be taking the shade Daffodil Delight. This one right here next to the bright yellow that we applied earlier. probably can tell the other shades are losing their pigmentation the first three colors that we applied so we're going to reapply it so starting with the two the two bright pink that we applied early we're gonna take the shade um heat wave again the yellow 
which is um, Hello Sunshine. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much happy with how it looks. So I'm going to cut the crease. I'll be using this same um, primer. Alright, so I successfully cut the crease as you all can see. So for that part that there is no color anymore, I'm going to take the shade wait a uh, daydream this shade right here all right so i forgot to film this part but i added a red shade on this part of the lid uh i took the shade poppin poppin poppy this one right here it's really handy because it's um uh, it's better than the other mirror that i've been using which is from my um how do you call that the mirror from my highlighting compact lower lash line now and the first shade that we're going to apply is the purple shade called um, purple power this one right here all right so now we're going to take a blue eyeshadow and let's use the shade uh, pacific dreams eyeshadow next to the blue eyeshadow that we applied we are going to mix this to um, slice of lime and granny smith so this two color right, so for the inner portion we're going to take the yellow shade again which is called hello sunshine is that I'm going to create a wing liner and I'm going to extend it to the inner corner so it's going to be a little bit like kind of Egyptian style of um, makeup or, or wing liner so I'll be taking my Inglot number 77 gel liner it's my favorite <music> part of the eye before we move on to the rest of the face so as you can see the other side of the eye it's black gray very cool tone eye makeup so I'm going to do that and we're just going to stick on my Beauty Bay Bright Matte uh, right, so I just primed my lid using the same base which is from Makeup Revolution I think it says Ill Sit but the black shade here on the top you can see it so we're gonna start with a black The dark gray and the lighter gray, which is um, driz drizzle and treat. We're going to mix these two together. Alright, so now I'm going to take only the shade um, Dazzle, which is the lightest gray. And we're going to blend out that harsh line on our crease area. to the first shade which is the black shade um, to, I need to intensify alright guys so I'm pretty much happy with how it all blended and also I am gonna uh, cut the crease and I'll be right. right guys so I succeeded cutting the crease as even as fast as the other eye and I hope that they are. It's pretty late here. It's um, almost it's um, 10 30 in the evening. <laughs> so, yep, and we still have quite a lot of things to do, especially the face. Alright, so we're going to take the shade um, White Lies, the white shade. So, before I completely forgot to mention um, I added some glitter liners on the top part where you know the cut crease end I put there a glitter liner this one is kind of like turquoise green color 
and then the other one is just a white on this side of my eye on as I said the top part where the cut crease ends so I really really like it I think it ties up this whole eye makeup look so we're gonna move on to the face all right so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add some foundation bit of concealer now I'm setting the face using the RCMA no color powder so I'm gonna bronze up the face using my Belgian waffle from Beach Cosmetics For the blush, I'll be using my Beach Cosmetics Glowing in Grease Palette and I'm gonna take the shade My Conos and Paras, these two shades right here. So for the highlight, I'm gonna take this shade called Athens and Olympia. I'm gonna mix these two together. Guys, so for this part, I'm not. I'm going to speed up the process. I'm just going to sketch what you see here on her face, and then the rest of the face we're gonna paint it gray. <laughs> yes, now we're gonna move on to the makeup revolution, um, SFX uh, palette and. We are going to test this one out. It has a humongous mirror. I'm going to try to cover it for you guys. There you go. So we're going to use this shade right here. Let's see if this one is a great shade. This gray right here. a very long time so what we're about to do now is we are going to set the face By the way, on my lips, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. This is very old. I had this one for such a very long time. I think, um, I don't know, since 2017, I think. the final look so I'm gonna wrap up this video pretty quick because I'm really tired it's it's a quarter to one here in the midnight so I need to go to bed and remove all this makeup and um, so yeah so I would say that I definitely really really love this makeup revolution as SFX um, Face paint, um, it's definitely patchy as you all can see, it doesn't go really smooth and pigmented however for $6.99 or €6, Euro, I think that's um, that's still a great deal, I mean you cannot definitely um, complain a lot for the price that you pay, I think that's pretty pretty decent product in my opinion. So I probably said about this part but I just thought like share to you guys my final thoughts, I mean my thoughts about this. But I'm really really tired. I cannot focus anymore. So regardless, um, yeah. Besides that, I hope that you enjoyed and you like this makeup product I created for you guys. Um, I'm not as good as the um uh, as Illumin RT, uh, makeup artist, but I definitely try my best to 
do this makeup look that she created it's just very creative and beautiful and yeah so i definitely definitely very proud of myself that i tried this makeup look and i definitely enjoyed and pretty exhausting actually to do this makeup look this halloween makeup look but i'm so happy that i did it so this is my very first Halloween makeup look that I created for the year 2020 so I'm definitely happy how it turns out um yeah the detail on this thing I make it darker liquid liner from Maybelline it it definitely helps a lot with the definition of all this detail that I created because um on with the eyeliner that I use it's not enough it's not that pigmented and also not really precise with the detail that I created so using a liquid liner helped a lot so that's that so i have to tell you enjoy this makeup look yeah. so i definitely like this one so i um and hope that you do too and if you like this halloween makeup look please give this video a thumbs up that will totally help me a lot and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click the notification bell so you get notified every time that i upload new videos here on my channel so all the parts that i use on this makeup look halloween makeup look will be listed in the description box so don't forget to check out the description box so if you have any makeup requests or questions please leave it down below in the comment section i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as i can and that's pretty about it and i want to wish you a lovely day or lovely evening whichever part of the world you are stay happy healthy and safe and i will see you guys in my next video and as always be confident and stay grounded. Bye everyone!